हेलो फ्रेंड्स हाउ आर यू वेलकम टू योर ओन चैनल मी डू स्टडी आई एम योर फ्रेंड आशुतोष फ्रॉम आई एम इंदौर एंड फ्रेंड्स एज यू नो दिस इज ड्रीम आई एम सीरीज प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर के ट्वेंटी वन थीम सेवेंटी फाइव डेज सेवेंटी फाइव वीडियोज ऑलरेडी वी हैव गिवन फाइव वीडियोज माई डियर फ्रेंड्स फॉर ऑल डिफरेंट फाइव सेक्शन एंड वी हैव इंट्रोड्यूस ईच एंड एवरी सेक्शन टू यू नाउ इन कमिंग वीडियोज वी विल कीप ऑन बिल्डिंग इन ऑल दिस सेक्शन एंड गिविंग यू सब्सिक्वेंट टॉपिक वीडियोज Like in last video, I told you we introduced number systems, which was in our QA. In this number system, I told you about basics of uh, numbers, divisibility test, factors, multiples, and we did some basic questions. And in today's class, we will be continuing it. QA. This was the overall overview. We already discussed it. Number system was supposed to be covered in two videos. One was given yesterday, and second video will be given today. so let us start without doing any much delay second number systems 2 so in number systems 2 what actually i will be telling you is we have already discussed about various types of number divisibility test factors multiples how to find number of factors and such similar questions today i will be telling you some shortcuts some techniques of solving questions and then do some questions first is shortcut number 1 what is this saying Every number has same unit digit at its fifth power as it has at its first power. Thus, the standard method that can be followed is to divide the power given by four, find the remaining power, and check the unit digit. This shortcut can be applied because you will always guess same unit digit otherwise. So, what is this saying? Suppose two to the power is two. Okay. Now it is saying in fifth power. The unit digit will be same. It should come two. Let us verify it. Two into two four into two eight into two sixteen into two thirty two. Two to the power five is thirty two. You can see same digit. So this is what it is saying. First power and fifth power, the digit remains same. This you can remember instead of doing this long calculations for calculating number of zeros at end of factorial of a number. What is factorial? When I say factorial, factorial means suppose I am saying four factorial. So this basically means four into three into two into one. Means starting from that number till one, you multiply all that number. That is known as factorial of a number. Number of zeros. So many time in CAT, what happens? You get a question to calculate the number of zeros. In that, this shortcut comes into use. Number of zeros. At end of factorial, you should divide the number by five. Okay, let us take an example. Suppose we have to find 80 factorial. What is this method saying? Divide the number by five. Okay, 80 divided by five. Quotient obtained is again divided by five. Let us find the quotient. What is the quotient? Five ones are 16. 16 5 is 80. Okay, divide this quotient again by five. 16 divided by 5. Question here is 3 and 1 is the remainder. Now what it is saying? Question option is given by until the last question is smaller than 5. Yes, this is smaller than 5. Sum of all the questions is the number of fives, which then becomes the number of zeros in the given number. So how many number of fives are there? 16 and from here 3, so 19. So that will be the number of zeros. Again, very simple shortcut. Shortcut 3. Digital root. Okay, so this is a new concept. Digital root. Sometimes a question in CAT or some other management exam might come. Just understand what is digital root. It is very simple. Sum of digits over and over again till it becomes a single digit number. So, for example, eight seven nine eight four. Add all the digits. Eight plus seven plus nine plus eight plus four. That will be thirty six. Again, add that nine. So we can say digital root of this is nine. Let us do one more example. Suppose the number is four two six seven. Sum of digits: four plus two plus six plus seven. Four plus two six. Six plus six twelve. Twelve plus seven nineteen. Again, one plus nine. Ten. One plus zero. One. So digital root will be one. This is what is the concept of digital root. Product of three consecutive natural numbers is divisible by six. So when we have three consecutive numbers, 
it is divisible by 6 and because of some simple logic first let us see some example suppose the numbers are 4 5 6 consecutive numbers product of these will be divisible by 6 why is it so see for divisible by 6 in divisibility test we uh, discuss number should be divisible by 2 and by 3 so if you are taking 3 numbers definitely there will be at least one even number so number will become divisible by 2 last digit will be that and in 3 numbers multiple of 3 has to be their property so it will be divisible by 6 also product of 3 consecutive natural numbers first of which is an even number is divisible by 24 so first in this case should be even so if you are taking 4 5 and 6 in this case it will be divisible by 24 again by so same logic see this will be divisible by 2 right this will be next it also will be divisible by 3 why because in 3 1 number of multiple 3 has to be there and since there are 3 numbers first is even so third will again be even if this was multiple of 2 that will be multiple of 4 2 into 3 into 4 this is 24 this is again our shortcut fine shortcut 6 sum of two digit number and number formed by reversing the digit is divisible by 11 so if these are this is a number reverse the digit this will be divisible by 11 okay any number at the same time difference between those numbers will be divisible by 9 so the difference that is coming 82 minus 28 that will be divisible by 9 this is again one shortcut which we need to remember very simple now next this shortcut 7 is basically your sum of n natural numbers n square and then n cube means sum of first n natural numbers sum of squares and sum of cubes so sum of n natural numbers is given by n into n plus 1 by 2 remember it is a very important formula sequencing in series again we will be uh, uh, visiting this but for now just remember in case of n square n into n plus 1 into n plus 2 upon 6 and n cube is basically this thing square let us discuss few questions and in those questions let us try and apply these shortcuts and various techniques which we have listened so just see this seems to be big sequence a1 minus a2 plus a3 minus a4 so on up to n times is equal to n we have to find what n greater than or equal to 1 from 51 to 1023 that we need to solve so we are given in the question that a1 plus a2 plus a3 so on this summation is up to n this is something which is given into the question suppose for n greater than or equal to 1 let us take first value a1 is equal to 1 what will be a2 in this case simple a1 minus a2 plus a3 if we put the value uh, of n is equal to 1 now put the value of n is equal to 2 then we will get a2 is equal to 1 minus 2 which will be your minus 1 similarly find a3 what will be a3 a3 in this case will be again your 1 this again you replace by 3 so you will see it is a series of basically plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 and so on up to your 1023 so in this everything will get cancelled since 1023 is your odd it will give a resultant one before this all terms will keep on getting cancelled so our answer is b which is option number uh, 1 which is option number b for an odd number n find the highest number that always divides highest number which will always divide this thing this is something which we have to find so this number how we can write this number n square minus 1 can be written as n plus 1 into n minus 1 a plus b into a minus b is a square minus b square ok so just write it in the sequence n minus 1 into n into n plus 1 this is our number for an odd number n so okay again next thing we are given is this is odd 
सो इफ दिस इज और नंबर बिफोर एंड नंबर आफ्टर दिस विल बी इवन दिस विल बी इवन दिस इज विच वी वट वी कैन वेरी क्लियरली रिड्यूस फ्रॉम दी स्टेटमेंट क्वेश्चन वट इट इज गिवेन ओके नाउ वट वी हैव टू फाइंड इज हाइएस्ट नंबर दैट विल ऑलवेज डिवाइड इट हाउ वी कैन फाइंड इट इट फाइंड दिस सी दिस क्वेश्चन इज गिवेन इन अदर वे वी डिस्कस इट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ शॉर्टकट ऑल्सो थ्री कॉन्जेकेटिव नंबर्स प्रोडक्ट इफ फर्स्ट नंबर इज इवन शॉर्टकट नंबर फाइव आंसर इज ट्वेंटी फोर सो इफ यू रिमेंबर आर शॉर्टकट दिस क्वेश्चन इन फाइव सेकेंड यू कैन मार्क दिस एंड गेट प्लस थ्री मार्क्स ट्वेंटी फोर आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू हाउ वी गॉट दिस दिस विल गिव अस टू फर्स्ट इवन सेकेंड वन नंबर हैज टू बी ऑर थ्री देर अनदर फोर दिस विल बी ट्वेंटी फोर दिस इज हाउ दिस क्वेश्चन गेट सॉल्व फॉर हाउ मेनी इंटीजर्स एन इज एन टू दावर फोर प्लस सिक्स एन smaller than 6n cube plus your n square this is our given statement let us solve this n to the power 4 plus 6n is less than 6n cube plus n square let us bring this terms this side it will be n to the power 4 plus 6n minus 6n cube minus n square is less than 0 simple we have brought these two terms here and written that now if we factorize this this will come out to be n into n square minus 1 into n minus 6 is less than 0 by simple factorization method so from this what we can tell since this is less than 0 n cannot be equal to 0 n cannot be equal to 1 n cannot be equal to 6 by using this three parts this three things we have already redu reduced n square minus 1 this is something which will be positive so from using these two what you get if this is positive this again is positive n minus 6 is something which will be negative so n can have value of 2 3 4 5 because it cannot have value of 1 and 6 so how many total values are there four values this is our correct answer if x and y are positive integers and x square minus y square is equal to 101 find the value of x square plus y square this is our next question again very simple question x square minus y square we can write it as x plus y into x minus y so we have to express this as two numbers in which we plus and minus 101 is a prime number now since it is a prime number it will only have factors of 101 and 1 so x plus y x minus y what will be the form x plus y is 101 x minus y is equal to 1 so from this what two values we got we will get on solving x is equal to 51 y is equal to 50 okay to find the value of x square plus y square so basically we have to find the value of 50 square plus 51 square and this on solving will come equal to 5101 you can use calculator online calculator in exam and get that answer if n is equal to 18 n square plus 9 n plus 8 upon n where n belongs to integer how many integral solutions we have to find okay so what we are given is 18 n square plus 9 n plus 8 upon n okay let us open uh, divide it and see what we get we will get 18 n plus 9 plus 8 by n this is same thing just divided and we have written in this form so this is already an integer 18 and again will be in the form of integer multiplied by a positive number how many integral solutions so now it is totally depending upon 8 upon n we need to see for 8 upon n now for what values for how many integral solutions this is possible then for 
uh, what it will be possible what values n can take so n can have a value it can have value of plus minus 1 divide you will get again 8 plus and minus plus minus 2 what you will get you will get uh, plus minus 4 plus minus 4 you will get plus minus 2 and plus minus 8 this will give you plus minus 1 so these are basically 1 2 4 into 2 8 solutions so answer is 8 here sometimes a mistake which one can do is after getting this 8 by n he will just take care of 1 2 4 and 8 and will forget about this negative sign but we have to tell integral solution integral solutions are both plus and minus okay this we need to take care find the number of zeros at the end of product of first 100 natural numbers first 100 natural numbers okay how we will do this number of zeros at the end of first 100 natural numbers like i discussed it last time also question of such types can be done very simply for this you just need to find the uh, divide the number by 5 and keep on dividing and then just add it this is su such simple thing first 100 natural numbers so basically first 100 a natural number product basically means this is 100 factorial and how we solve such questions divide it by 5 so 100 divided by 5 is your basically 20 then this is the quotient divide this quotient by 5 20 divided by 5 this will give you 4 now this is less than 5 so we stop here so sum of questions 20 plus 4 so this is 24 so product of first 100 natural numbers number of zeros will be 24 so friends this was all about number systems and examples and some more concepts in if you see our video number 5 and 6 in these two videos we have done all the concepts i have also given six to seven shortcuts and many a times directly question based upon this short comes comes in cat and question might seem to be lengthy but by applying these certain specific tricks you can do it in a very small time in a span of maybe one or two minutes also just remember these tricks this was all about number systems in our two videos in our next video we will do one of our LR topics which is linear arrangement a very important topic and many a times questions come from it I hope today's concept was clear to you my friends and in these two videos we have been able to clear number systems to you in case there are any doubt or you want more questions you want questions for practice or any case of confusion is there let us know you can write in the comment section or you can mail to us at midu.study at the gmail.com and we will be addressing your queries in case of any feedback you can always share us and if you are liking our video please like it share and subscribe to Miru study thank you friends take care have a good day